Welcome to Halcyon City, the land of tomorrow. Heroes fly through the sky, and villains have nefarious deeds, but they're always kept in check by the valiant, by the brave, by the bold. Everyone here has a stake. Everyone here has a moment they wish they want to shine in this bright future of a city. Cars levitate from the ground. Trains go points A to point B in an instant. And the sky always seems to be perfect in Halcyon City. But every rose has its thorns. And you know, every single one of you deep down, there's always something afoot. But today, on this Wednesday afternoon, everyone has one important duty they all must attend to, and that is attending court. So, oh, here again. <laughs> now let's go ahead and uh, start the session off. Agent Collins and Steel Hawk has pretty much asked everyone to attend this court meeting. There is an importance between the relationship between the metahumans and those who do not have powers, which are regularly known as humans. So metahumans are the catch-all term. And the metahumans, they have their powers and they have their their weight. And because you guys are part of the fourth generation, all that nitty gritty of the law, of the fighting, of the general just distaste for superhumans have since then passed. Human, uh, metahumans and heroes are revered. But what happens to the villains? Well, part of that is as a villain, you have to go through the same legal systems as if you are a human. You're part of a citizen of this world, and that is why you're all here today. Next to you is sitting Agent Collins, constantly adjusting his tie and his glasses. He sits and asks everyone, pay attention. This is important. You might have to take the stand as a witness one day. And let us all hope that none of you fall into the same trap as that man over there. And uh, in the room, there's a bunch of reporters, or no, no reporters in there. But in the room, there's a bunch of witnesses and people who have been injured by the only one known as more of a recent villain as Maximum Mantis. You see this hulking body sitting down, hunched over, chains wrapped around his several arms and ligaments. It was a very, very tragic accident when he fell into that vat of chemicals one day. It forever changed him. Just so happened that a mantis was also in that vat of chemicals, but don't worry about that. It's not a part of the lore. So we start with the panel. You see the judge, broad-shouldered, well-fed, bald. The gavel hits, and he says, we finally have our verdict. On seven accounts of aggravated metahuman assaults, the court finds you, Frederick Ferguson, guilty. On three accounts of attempted murder using metahuman powers, the court finds you guilty. On account of resisting metahuman response protocol, the court finds you guilty. And to many of you, you would know that the metahuman uh, response protocol is allowing superheroes to take the, the role of the deputy in apprehending these powerful threats. Across the room, you see a very tall lady, and you would know her as Caitlin Hemlock. She stands tall and proud at the verdict. She was the um, prosecutor in this case. Her hair neatly wrapped into a ponytail, as long as her, and it flows all the way down to her lower back. She dresses in an elegant blouse with a matching pencil skirt that seems to match and have been tailored perfectly for her body. And with that, the room goes silent as the gavel strikes one more time, given the sentence. Agent Collins turns over to the to, to team members, and he says, listen very carefully to this. What happens next? will dictate the future of Halcyon City. Max Momentus stands up. The backs, uh, the backs of his wings, they're kind of like uh, wrapped up in chains right now. He can barely move as these uh, bolts and, and, and uh, chains hold him down to the ground so he cannot fly. A deep hiss of his voice fills the room. It's hard to tell, but all you hear is, you will all regret this. You cannot hold me. And the judge says, apprehend him and bring him to his chambers. And a few of the guards step up and they have their tasers ready to tase him. But just as they do, something enters him from the ground. This feeling of dread fills the room 
as this black shadowy energy wraps around his foot as a socket first, then climbs up his leg. All of a sudden, the chains break. His wings free and his claws open. What was supposed to be a peaceful courtroom now is suddenly filled with the hisses and the sounds of this man before you. He turns and he's about to slash one of the guards. What do you guys do? I'm going to charge and protect one of the guards. I'm going to hit him. Uh, <laughs> I'm going to uh, raise my hand and um, the shadows from between the pews kind of like come to life and it's vaguely human shaped forms and uh, try to surround him. Okay, so now here's the thing about uh, Powered by the Apocalypse, guys. You can do anything, anytime you want. So there's no initiative, there's no nothing. So for you, Rick, and for you, Ari, since you're both uh, new to this system, feel free to do whatever you guys want, anytime you want. Feel free well, to interject. Given the shadow thing, I want to exactly pay more attention to that. Uh, mm. more, yeah, so more specifically, I want to do direct, uh, to directly yeah, engage nope, the threat. We're going to do that. Yeah, okay. So... In, in, in a sudden flash, uh, both Brightstar and Reese leap from their chairs. Agent Collins, looking at you in surprise, wait, no, he says, and he immediately goes to his ear and starts um, shouting w orders into his uh, transceiver. But the two of you don't seem to stop. The two of you immediately go. And Brightstar, let's do yours first. Do you wish to be, you wish to defend? And I assume you want to defend the guards. Uh, yes. Go ahead and roll Savior. And Reese, you wish to directly engage yes. the target. Go ahead. Um, I'd also like to use my ability here in a china shop. Yeah, absolutely. Okay. I'm gonna like basically full body tackle this guy. Mm-hmm. Then roll your engage a direct threat. All right. So, both of you get a partial hit. Now, let's deal with Bright Star first. Bright Star, when you're a defense someone or something from an immediate threat, roll savior. On a 7 to 9, it costs you. Expose yourself to danger or escalate the situation. I'll expose myself to danger. All right. Because uh, I have the never give up, never surrender. Mm-hmm. You have never give up, never surrender. So, uh, and Reese, you directly engage a threat uh, on a 10 plus pick two. One. Pick one. And so I'm also causing a... significant collateral damage, so I'm going to pick an additional one. Yes. Well, um, hold on a second. So, I'll never give up, never surrender, don't I? I can... That's if you take Do a powerful blow. The... I haven't told you okay. what your your thing was yet, but I'm dealing with Reese first. Yeah, yeah. So, okay. Reese. Um, I would like to take something from them. Okay. I would, like, would to like to take his wings. Okay, you can totally try like to take his wings. Basically flip right off of him and uh, just rip them right off his little back. <sighs> okay. And you I would like totally to try... frighten the opposition. Uh, you only pick one because it's seven to nine. No, no, no. I'm causing significant collateral damage. I get to pick an additional one. But also, you, I do some damage to the environment. Check out uh, In the China Shop on my sheet. Uh, significant yeah. collateral damage yeah, so to choose an additional option, even on a miss. So just oh, no matter okay. what I roll, I, I can I see. do this. Okay, so I that can makes pick sense. three if I got a, a 10 plus. Now, uh, because you guys are currently in an uh, encounter, who, um, who here wishes to want to take lead? Does Volt, like, you, you come out of your, your shell and you start saying, let's do this? Because the both of them just immediately acted. Now, they probably you... Bright Star, if anybody. Just because we immediately started doing stuff. Yeah, so that's up to you guys. Do you do you guys follow Bright Star's lead, or Volt, do you want to try and lead yourself? Well, I am probably going to analyze the situation. Damn, that's what I was going to do. I both of you can do that. I've been reading through the files, which yep. allows me. I'll just roll it, see if I. No penalty. All right. Oh, that's a 13. Okay. You learn about the superhuman world through your mentor's resources. When you first encounter an important superpower phenomenon, roll a plus superior on a hit. Tell, uh, tell the team one important detail you've learned from your studies. The GM will tell you what, if anything, seems different from what you've learned. Okay, so uh, I'll answer that in a second here. And uh, finally, what are what are you trying to do there, uh, Saras? You're analyzing the situation? Yep. Okay, Just so assess. one of the moves is assess the situation. You can more, more than welcome to do that, and we're going to resolve all this yep. at once. Just roll superior. Just roll superior. 
That is a partial hit, so... Can ask one of the questions. Yes! And you can think about that question as I start to resolve everything else. And by the way, um, Chameleon, you are going to be creating your constructs. Mm-hmm. What exactly about those constructs are you going to try and do? Um, I want them to just kind of like surround uh, Mantis and kind of pin him down. All right, so that seems like you're directly engaging that threat if you decide to do that. Yep. Okay, so go ahead and directly engage that threat, and we're going to go and see how this pans out. Okay. So you get to pick one from the list. Um, I want to create an opportunity for my allies. So, now for you there, uh, Brightstar, do you want to escalate the situation? Is that what you said? I know, I'm going to take the hit. You're going to take the hit. All right, so why why don't you describe to us what you do? I kind of just rush in, and I'm I'm manifesting the energy, and it's like this bright light that surrounds my fist, my arm, and I just hold it up to try to see if I can deflect it and stop some of the damage. All right. So um, you just see Brightstar running across the room the same time that Reese does, and um, Brightstar, you stick your arm up, and it blocks it right there, but you underestimate his strength and the power because this dark energy festering around him seems to cloak his entire body in this this just dark, shadowy force as you are flung way across the room, hitting the wall behind you, causing woods and splinters to fly everywhere. You notice the judge just ducking for cover. Because you took the hit, um, you I think that what that does is that you, you take a powerful blow. And uh, as, uh, because you have never give up, never surrender, you have a choice. Do you want to see if you can weather that blow? Um, so I can roll plus savior for never give up, never get surrender. Yep, that's correct. And that's what I would do right now, correct? That's exactly what you would do right now. Ooh, that's oh. a fail. That is indeed a fail. So mark let's see. Yes, mark potential because you missed. So there's five there. Okay. All right. On a miss, you go down, but you leave your opponent off balance and vulnerable. Okay, I get to choose the condition that you take. So as um, you are not able to weather this storm, this this blow that just causes you just to get shunted across the room, you slam into the uh, into the wall. Now, here's the thing: because this is a important boss fight, um, well, not bo- technically the boss fight, but because it is important, you guys have two of these. Those, what is it? Those are the team pool. Oh, actually, we get oh. one if we are enter battle as a team. So yes, have you entered that battle as a team? I have. I mean, I assume we did. You guys entered the battle as a team. Um, uh, I mean, and... I don't know if Reese really did. Reese kind of. You guys are in the same ended. same scene uh, right now. You guys are in the same scene right now. I mean, yeah. um, so. I guess me and Bright Star are kind of kind of combo off each other, or, or me. That's true. I mean, yeah. Or, yeah. But yep. I don't know. And now. Know. What this in. means is that someone else can uh, can can aid, give a plus one to Brightstar by spending one of those points. Who would like to do that? Uh, yeah, I'd like to rush over to Brightstar and like make sure she's okay. Can I do that? All right. Well, actually, what you do is that your shadowy energy envelops Brightstar just enough for her to weather the blow without taking a condition that I choose. So think of it like your energy kind of making a net that she falls back into, so she herself isn't that badly wounded. Yeah. All right, That's so Brightstar, as you're flung back into the into the courtroom, uh, there, you land in this nice little uh, net of shadowy energy. And now, uh, from seven to nine, you get to choose one thing from that list. You get an opportunity or opening against your attacker, you rally from the hit, or you keep your attacker's attention. What would you like to do? Um, I'm going to keep the t- attacker's attention. You keep the attacker's attention, and now, um, <laughs> why don't you go... And why don't you go ahead and uh, mark a condition, any condition you'd like. What, what would make sense about the most? Maybe you feel guilty that you trashed the, the where, where right next to um, uh, the judge. Yeah, my family's going to hear about that. All right, so mark guilty. Next, we, we see Reese at this moment as um, uh, Brightstar, you step into the way of this this creature and it just knocks her back and you're going to go straight right for his wings, right? I, I like flying tackle him and like send him. We go through the wall uh, into the next courtroom. You go through the wall into the next courtroom. Wow. Okay. And uh, it was a seven to nine, correct? 
So what are two things? You take something from him, and you also... Um, I also frighten the opposition. Frighten the opposition. Okay, excellent. All right, now let's go ahead and uh, do... And I think it hits you back. No, it... You hit... You take a hit from them, and uh, yeah, no, you take a powerful blow. Okay, so do I roll for that? Roll you do plus roll, roll... Plus condition. So this so is here, if it's a off. miss... You want to miss on this. You want to miss on this, essentially. Okay. Roll, yeah, uh, I see. Roll. Oh, no. Oh, boy. That, hit, that hits you real good. And as you tackle into him and rip off his wings, he takes one of his sides and grates against your body. It would kill a normal person, but you're bleeding, and you're not doing so hot, as now you suddenly feel... Uh, let's see here. You are afraid. This is the first time you've been this badly hurt in a long time. As you um, wait, uh, don't I, I pick one from this list though on a 10 plus. Do you pick one from this list? Oh, okay, yeah, no, 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 that's one. not that's not how that works. Uh, I can take a condition. So either on, on a 10 plus, I either choose one from this really bad list or choose two from the not as bad list. Oh, that's a fair point. Like so... no, player, player, player still gets control here. So what do you um, want to do? Brr, uh. I'm probably gonna do two from the seven nine list. I don't. I don't okay. think I'm gonna want to do the really. So bad what are the two here. from the seven nine list then? Um. Well, I am gonna get two conditions. You struggle past the Okay. Nine. Okay. And um, you lash out verbally, provoke a teammate into foolhardy action. Okay. So and what do you I say? Yell at, I yell at Soros. Hey, don't just fucking stand there. And uh, Soros, you you are you get lashed out by this and. What does that what does that mean when you want uh, to out? They eat, they uh, provoke a teammate to f take full hardy action or take advantage of influence to inflict the condition. Say the last <laughs> part again. Provoke a teammate uh, to to full hardy action is what I'm trying to do here. Okay. Yeah. Oh no, Cyrus is crushed. Just yelled at her. Yeah. Uh, how dare? <laughs> no, would so she be disheartened or attracted to that? <laughs> well, I mean, so yes. Reese just like dove at the guy and is like now bleeding from the chest. Now their shirts all fucking ripped. Uh, <laughs> and, and just like turning, like, hey, I'm kind of bleeding here. Why don't you, why don't you do something? And uh, we'll resolve that in a second here because uh, now. What are my bolts. two conditions? Uh, do I choose the two conditions? Uh, yes. Mark two conditions. I mean, it doesn't say. So I would say, you know, if you, you want to say, you mark I it. pick one, mark then. It. You, 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 you could take. I, I'd say you could take that at any time if you say I should have a specific one. But I'm gonna say um, I feel a little guilty for having just yelled at Soros. Yep. Yeah. And how dare? Uh, Maybe insecure for your powers. Maybe insecure for your powers. Yeah. Angry. I don't know. All right. With that, uh, you see him barreling through the next courtroom, which was just having a. Uh, just the regular kind of like DMZ sort of thing, talking about some uh, zoning laws, and all of a sudden, just this crash of these two, this this dark fate, this magical dark mantis spilling through, with this kid just clinging on and ripping off wings, and one of the wings flops over in the panel onto the uh, the judge's desk, and it's just like shock, and everyone in that room. Oh, I am not paying for that. All right, now volts. Let's resolve what you had. It's a full hit. It's what you do. One all right, time. so let's see. I can tell a team one important detail you learned from your studies in this situation, or okay. I would like to focus on how he got out. All right, you have read um, stuff about Mantis, so Maximum Mantis before, uh, and you would know that he had no way any dark powers at all. From the way that he had received this energy, as if it had been given to him and been bestowed to him by some otherworldly force and you have no idea where it's from. I also had a plus 10, so I can ask a follow-up question. So yep. I, don't, I don't know this yep. at all. You don't know, th well, I mean, it does well, the, seem the follow -up familiar. The question could be like, is this demon shit? I think that's valid. It is. Because uh, yeah, you've seen is that it, before in, yeah. in Alex's. Is it demon shit? <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> all right, wow. that's your follow-up question. Followed by Saros, as you're assessing the situation, you just hear, DO SOMETHING! Now you have your question. What's the question you want to ask? What here can I use to suppress this fucker? 
Oh, you can use the building to suppress this fucker. Would cause casualties. Thanks. <laughs> Thanks. You could. I mean, That's you can also so unleash your power. I mean, the, the thing is, is that there's a there's this uh, malevolent creature controlled by dark uh. forces right now flowing around. Well, if that's the only thing that I can think of, then it's gonna be hi, hello, let's unleash fucking powers. All I don't right. know what I'm doing. Did I see her? <laughs> and, um, what are your just. Powers? Uh, telepathy and mind blasts? Oh, so you just, like, try to. just mind break him? Catch potato. Yup. Hey, hey, let's fucking fuck. do it. Anyways, or would um, that be directly engage? I don't know. That would, that would, um, if you're directly engaging with him specifically, or if, if you're targeting him specifically, that's directly engaged. That's not unleashing your powers. Unleashing your powers yeah. is about contorting the environments to your image. Okay. Keeping in so, mind that your action is probably going to be, well, foolhardy, like we said. Yeah, well, probably full, maybe you're foolhardy. So maybe no, Alex you're foolhardy. Should, maybe Alex your foolhardy action you is, um, uh, is my, is tell, um, telling people telepathy to, like, jump on him while the Mantis currently doesn't have wings. You is that the really to jump gonna... on him? You can totally do that. All right, fine, fine. <laughs> That's my foolhardy action. Okay, roll him. now. Let's go ahead and roll that. Roll, roll, uh, unleash your powers. Okay, so I roll, I roll freak. You roll freak. That you roll yeah. freak. As this wave of just mental energy shoots from. Uh, what the sir, fuck? Oh my god. Really? Someone Say, can. Man, someone can. Dice team hate. point, guys. A team point. There's a oh, team, team point. point left. Yeah. And some already next to her. Oh, Fucking I mean, dice hate me, so guys. We don't have plus yeah. one extra because of Captain. I mean, uh, or I could use leader. that. I could use that to like just get like jump on top of him. Yeah, I, I can totally use that to do. jump on top and of him. So I, I just kind of like hold him down and allow their weight to do something without being. All right. Fire. Okay, and well, that makes it up to a seven. Um, I don't think, I don't think you get potential for that. You still get potential for that. Mm. I'm not sure. Uh, I mean, I don't think so. I don't think so. So you don't get potential, but it, do, it does actually work. Um, but when you unleash your powers, on a 7 to 9, mark a condition, or the GM will tell you how the effect is unstable or temporary. I think you do you want it to condition. be temporary, or do you want a condition? Um, That's up to you, Saras. Uh, it's fucking condition it. Yeah, Alright, so maybe you feel guilty for, for invading the minds of all these people. That's a suggestion. It's up to you. Uh, I was thinking either guilty or yeah, no, definitely guilty. Be guilty. You definitely feel guilty for for doing this. And uh, as all these people jump on top of him, and uh, you just hear at the back of your in, in the back of the room, the door is swinging open, seeing Still Hawk with his wings flapping out, and he sell he tells everyone move, and everyone kind of gets out of the way, and he flies through the carnage. Um, he runs over. He flies over to where the mantis is. Uh, the people that were clinging on to him get flung off, and Steelhawk grabs him. And Reese, do you want to hold on? Yes or no? I mean, I got him in like the full Nelson right now, so yes. You have the full. So you are picked up by Steelhawk and Mantis, and he flies upwards through the ceiling out of the courthouse. If the, if Steelhawk's got a good grip on him, I actually am gonna like move over to like. Okay, so you let back. so you kind of yeah. let go and you fall a few feet, but you're fine. But then all of a sudden you hear yeah. screams and screeches outside. As we move over to here, as all of a sudden, beetle-like creatures are are tunneling from underneath the ground, as several of these locusts, covered in shadowy energy, come from the ground and are now terrorizing the citizens. Oh, jeez, that's a lot of them. It's quite a few of them. They represent like three or four locusts that they're like, the size of cars as they're coming out. What do you guys do? Um, I want to assess this uh, situation and see if I can like recognize them at all. Go ahead. And, okay. Um, that is a uh, superior. Oh, I would have told you guys it's demon yep. shit. So over, over communicators in which Steelhawk says um, and says, I will deal with the mantis. You guys deal with this. Do you guys, he is influencing you guys right now to be saviors. Do you accept his influence? Yes. Yes. So everyone, whoever accepts yeah. his influence, lowers down one of their one of their stats to increase savior by one. That is up to you guys. As you hear this booming deep voice, uh, Steelhawk telling you guys, help the people, I have Mantis. So that's me assessing the situation. Pardon? That's uh, assessing the situation. All right, that's an eight. 
Yeah, that is one question you get to ask. All right. Uh... Mechanical or no? They're they're, oh. they're like giant locusts. Wow. Okay. Actually, here you go. I was hoping. Can can I go off the list? Or do I have to ask? From you the have list? to ask something from that list. I mean, okay. What here is in the greatest danger? Uh, what here is in the greatest danger? Definitely civilians, number one. And number two, there's a water main right there that if they manage to tunnel through and destroy, will cause flooding in not only the courthouse, but all the surrounding areas. Okay. So I'll warn everyone about the water main. Wait, you guys are supposed to be there. It's supposed to be like this. There you go. Makes more sense. Oh, yeah, that's the courthouse. <laughs> oh, yeah, uh, where's yeah, the yeah. water main located? Uh, the water main is it's located right line. here. Okay. Well, it we can't would cause have civilians being attacked, and we have yeah. To there's civilians there, and there's also like water mains right there, and like you notice some of the locusts are digging into this water main right now from the ground, causing it. To, if it explodes, it'll cause the whole street to explode in water, causing a lot of damage to the city. I'd like to oh. charge one of them that's burrowing. Okay, so Brightstar, once again, um, acting completely on on this adrenaline rush, you go and you charge, and you're are you tackling them? Uh, yeah, I'm gonna try to punch it. I'm gonna use my fight the good fight, so I roll savior instead. Okay, that's fine. So roll fight the good fight as you come in. Like, these locusts are, they, they come barreling out. Oh, wow. That's really good. Okay. You, you come in, you charge, you punch right into the locust, and immediately one of the locusts just explodes in this shattery energy. You have inflicted a condition on them. They are now angry. Is and this as, like the whole horde or pardon? just that group? Is that, does this affect the whole horde or just that group? The whole horde, because they, they're technically one one creature. Okay, uh, okay. The whole horde suddenly start to just vibrate in anger and energy as they start to thrash around the buildings and the, uh, the, the roads itself. Their focused rage at the water main is now temporarily gone as all of them seem to just thrash around and like the buildings and people and rocks and cars are being flung around everyone everywhere. What, what do the rest of you guys do? Uh, all right, um, uh, so Camille uh -huh. said that the water main was over here. Um, yes. yes. In that case, I'm going to run out of the courtroom and run down a hall uh, this uh -huh. way, the opposite direction, Yep. yep. until I get to the uh, an edge and uh, I take a peek outside. I see these guys down there. Um, I flip open the window if I have to break the lock. I, yep. I, 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 I do think with the courtesy of opening it, if I break the lock, yep, I break you, the lock. Yep. You, um, you open the window and? And I jump out on top of them, fist first. All right, are you directly engaging a threat? Yes, sir. I roll it. Oh! Oof. Oh, no. Well, mark and potential. Right. That is definitely mark a potential. And uh, with that, I think um, you take a powerful blow there as you try to jump on this Shadow Locust, but they manage to just dodge and fly out of the way, and two of them just jump right on top of you. That's a nine. That's a seven to nine. So you get to choose two from that list. I get to choose or one, you get, actually. You get to choose one. OK. Oh, you're right. You get to choose one. Um, I'm going to give ground. Your opposition gets an opportunity. And uh, Seros, as you, you see once again, Reese running through down the end of the hallway, he jumps out a window, followed by a Thanks. scream and a crash. As you are flung back into courthouse and these locusts are crawling in, civilians are crawling out of the way. Um, uh, yeah, sorry about that. Uh, and Seros, you see Reese on the ground. What do you do as... These lo <laughs> locusts are crashing into the building as your friend is about to be. Is it possible to provoke the insects? Oh, I was going to go and defend. Oh, uh, yeah, they, okay, they have stuff. You absolutely provoke them into doing things. I mean, you'd have you to role play provoke. it, you know, what you do. Yep. Okay, well, I have a lot of gadgets, and I would assume using a certain uh, yep. gadget that would yeah. give a frequency, a loud frequency for specific things. So yep. in this case, the insect. So what, I roll superior? You can totally roll superior as you tune your frequency to the most obnoxious tune. And Saros, you're trying to defend Reese right now as these se these civilians are coming in and you totally do it. You totally do it, Les. You come, wow, like, describe to me what you do. What do you do? Um, Basically, seeing, seeing him on the ground and Mantis is like coming in, trying to crawl in, it, it's, she, she's thinking to herself, I'm, I'm not going to be yelled at to do something again. I'm just going to do it. So okay. using her telepathicness, she just kind of creates as much of a barrier as she can around him mm -hmm. to kind of keep them off of him. All right. So uh, not all gets to choose. 
Yes. Okay. Uh, not only do you do that, you see that list over there? Add to the team pool, take influence over someone you protect in clear condition. Choose one of those things. Uh, I'm going to add a team to the pool. All right, so you add a team to the pool. Now you guys have two team pools. I hope you appreciate I that I got five hands. Oh, nice. Give a little bit. Oh, yeah, that's very... I'll be the yellow One hand. of them's blue. I'm blue. It's perfect. I take the red. All right, Volts. You fucking would. You want to provoke them right now. Just everyone in the just, uh, vicinity. Rolled, yeah, I rolled an eight. I rolled an eight. Okay, so when you provoke someone or something, seven to nine, they can instead choose one. So I get to choose. They overreact. You get influence over them. Perfect. So well, what I, is like, your influence? I have... What do you mean? What's up? What do you mean? I have influence over them. You get to tell them what to do. Oh, I control them? You don't control them, but like you have their attention. You can you can steer them to a direction which you want. Uh, fuck, that would be a good place. Um, I would recommend okay. trying to get them away from the water main. Well, that's the plan. I just... Uh... Is, there so any, like, is there any lot that's like abandoned around the area that one, we would uh, know this about? This lot over here doesn't have a lot of cars in it right now. Okay, I'm gonna yeah, there you run go. over you there. You can throw your little thing in there, and it attracts them, and they they come in and smash it, and and then we fight yeah, them in there. So I would just get close and then throw it over there. All right. So as you throw it over there, they give up some of their dangerous, and then they have become start to come a little bit mundane as they all start to run in that direction, following whatever that is, and albeit running through everyone and everything. All right. As they're running, yep. um. Uh, Chameleon is like making shadow uh, puppets to, to kind of like urge people out of the way. Okay, totally. That's uh, that seems like you're trying to defend them. Yeah. So what, like All a right, little roll. dog that picks them up in his mouth. No. <laughs> <laughs> so roll, roll, uh, roll, savior. Puppers. Oh, it's a full hit. Just think of shadow. That is definitely shadow a full puppers. hit. That is oh, no. Shadow puppers. But it's the same bonus. It's is it the same bonus? Okay, I'll trust you I then. That's fine. Check. If it's yeah. the same. If it's the same bonus, then there's a well, it's a, it's five and five, so it's a ten anyways. Um, it's a full success. What do you do? Um, uh, let's see. Uh, I would like to uh, add a team to the pool and take influence over the civilians. All right, you have taken influence over the civilians, and there are now three team pools there. Okay, now Brightstar, you notice as you just punch like three of them out of existence as their like shadowy guts fly and then just create shadows on the wall and then disappear. You hear this this tingling noise at the back of your skull. Suddenly, all these locusts are running down the, the streets. People, uh, at first, would seem that they would get trampled by their rage, but you see like these little shadow puppets picking them up as in like you know how like they have the, the cross piece of wood that they use to uh, to control the puppets. Shadowy mm-hmm. tethers come down to these bodies and pull them out of the way one by one. What do you do? Um, so they're all running towards the right. Yes. Let's see. Would it be possible for me to get this one and throw it at another? Yeah, you can totally do that. That seems to be directly engaging a threat as you're running after them. Uh, describe what you do. Um, I'm just going to manifest the power in my fist and punch it towards the, the nearest guy right here. All right, roll to directly engage a threat. Okay, can I still use fight the good fight? Yep. You're defending people right now. That's a partial hit. Someone, you guys are all technically here. Um, Volt, you see uh, Brightstar doing this. There's three in the team pool. How do you guys help? People can help. People can help. Um, um I would. Go ahead. Go ahead. Oh, I'm sorry. I would throw like you know some kind of battering to help. All right. So Volt, as you kind of run out the, uh, out here to see if you're hurting them, all the way to where you wanted them to, like this the blinking tracker of like the screeching noises. They're all kind of barreling towards it. You, uh, Brightstar comes over and she does. Her hand lights up with this magnificent godlike energy and punches one out of existence. But doing so completely leaves her side, uh, her flank completely open, and another one jumps up. And you think just in time to throw one of your batterings, I assume charged with electricity. Oh, definitely charged with electricity. Uh, and you see the panel, it flying through the air, flying through people, flying underneath, uh, underneath a car. Wait, I'm and sorry, like, just like people? Around no, people. Around, them. <laughs> around people. Around people. Around people. And um, <laughs> you see a panel of Bright Star's face in shock as if she's about to get hit. And the next panel, all of a sudden, it, the the, uh, the locust gets shocked with this energy and it disappears out of existence. As Bright Star, you are saved by this. Um, Boonerang. Yay for the booty ring. Booty ring. <laughs> booty ring. The booty ring. Yes. Booty ring. 
Hootie Rang. All right, and can you go ahead and remove one of those? And you notice as all of them come over here, they all start to look hopeless as their numbers are dwindling. They're gonna try and run. What do you guys do? I want to make a like a just like a physical barrier of shadows and kind of like pin, pin them in. Hey, okay. actually, Alex, so. the one that was like up on me before it uh, were to run away, like mm -hmm. I still had like me pinned up, right? Yes. Uh, well, I want to like snap its head off. Well, actually, no, the one that run. was pinned on you, um, yeah. uh, Saros comes in and like threw the mind blast, flinging it like oh, all the way off, off down the hall into the into the parking lot. Saros had to the the you. Okay, well, I'm going to jump out the window after it. All right, so you go ahead and you follow that, and uh, sounds like you want to unleash your powers there. Uh... Oh, well, I want to jump attack a little. No, 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 it's talking to, um, oh. talking yeah. to, to Mooney. Okay. Mooney, yeah, 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 you want to yeah, unleash yeah. your power to create this mm -hmm. construct of shadowy energy to keep them inside. Yeah, that sounds right. All right, go ahead and um, roll freak. Uh. Cage match, 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 um, unleash your powers, uh, it's, it's either temporary, temporary and unstable, or you mark a condition. What uh, you oh, temporary condition, right? and unstable. So it's un- it, let's go with unstable, as this shadowy energy starts to, to break up the, um, the columns of the parking lot, and the parking garage, as they all start to collapse on each other, and, um, Sarah, he noticed this, but you see Reese jumping in, what do you do, to keep this, to keep the crumbling, uh, to keep the crumbling um, columns from collapsing. I'm probably not going to so, uh, help that. Crumbling columns from collapsing. Are they going to actually hit anyone? Uh, it seems that there's some civilians getting out, are still inside there. They're running out as this happens. As like, the, there's like about four or five. There's like a small family of uh, four running away. Where are, they, the, where are they located currently? They're located right here. The, the bugs have completely ignored them. They're going after the tracker, but uh, the unstable shadowy energy trying to keep them in cause um, the, the the columns to just go crazy and just shatter. What are you doing, Sarah? Right. Uh, let's fly over there and uh -huh. fly over there. defend the defend the uh, civilians. Roll are you using a gadget to throw some adhesive on top of the falling buildings? Uh, so you want to help uh, Sarah in her in doing a team action? Is that yeah. what you're trying to do? All right. Basically. Well, um, she oh. doesn't need it, so I can save that for later. <laughs> so what you can wow. do is you can. So well, I can capture one then. Pardon? You want to capture one? Okay, that seems to be the. Uh, if you want to capture, does that is that engaging a threat or is that? I think that's engaging a threat. Yeah, you're you're, you're putting yourself out there to, to I capture someone. I mean, I think someone. it would be just like more. Uh, yeah, because you're you're trying to take them out, and when you take them out, you flavor it like how you do. You know? uh, yeah. yeah. All right. So, so we still have to take them out Choose choose something to get uh, that you want. You, you you have influence. I think you chose influence over the the the, the things right already. So you already have influence over the, the, the locusts. Oh, um, so, I will go ahead and I can clear a condition. Yeah, you can clear a condition. So what's All your right. condition? Well, my condition is guilty. So if I'm able to protect these people and no, I was guilty. able to help and uh, and protect Reese, then protecting all of these people made me feel less guilty. Yeah, you're a lot less guilty now. You've made up for it. You've made up for it. You've atoned for your guilt. As um, you come in and you like send this wave of telepathic mind blast energy to stop the rocks from falling on this poor family and giving them enough time to run away. Uh, and and Reese, you're, you're charging in into this into this uh, encounter. So um, what do you do? Uh, oh, uh, yeah, I just want to tackle after these bugs. like. All right. It's not even paying attention to me then, so I want to just jump on its back. So that, that's from Roll Danger, man. Let's see what you get. Oh, no. Oh. Wait, Volts, you're there. You can help. Brightstar, you're I there. I have team. Yeah, you totally yep. have team. Uh, Brightstar, you're also there, too. So, like, someone can uh, take from the team pool and do something. So, Brightstar, you finally make it to the encounter. And uh, you see the shadowy veil. You see Saros underneath, like holding up with the power. Can I of her shove mind. one into the fist that he's doing? You, you you shove one. You you side tackle one right underneath Reese. You could totally do that. Yeah, I want to side tackle it into uh, whatever Reese is doing, so it hits. So you side tackle whatever um like this this one locust right next to Reese. And Reese, you're able to climb on top of them, and I think you're punching them, right? Oh yeah. You're well, totally well, well, punching Actually, them? right now, what I want to do is I want to try to get a hold of those spikes and just uh, pop their head off since I'm on its back. You wanna, yeah, you want to pop their head right off, and that's yeah. another one team pool gone. So what are the two things you do? 
Uh, I pick one actually. I mean, on, you pick yeah. one, but you could you could create a. I could, I could. Um, not right now since this place is already falling apart, and I, I gotta make sure to get out too. Yep. Um, I want to um create an opportunity for my allies. Okay. So, but you have to avoid. Um, you have to. Uh, you're taking a powerful blow because okay. they trade blows with you. As the spikes, as you climb on top of him, you pop its head off. One of its, uh, one of its allies comes over and just like gashes you with its mandibles. Can I move to defend? You could move to defend. Absolutely, you can I take the blow. I would like to help for defending. All right, so you got a team pool for this, and now, uh, so just as you're about to take this nasty hit, um, I think what is it? Uh, Brightstar comes in and go ahead, we'll save you. That's a full hit. That's that's nice. a full success. And you get to choose two from that list. You can clear condition, you can add to the team pool, you can uh, get influence over them. I'm gonna but, add to uh, the team pool and do clear condition. All right, so you clear condition and you add to the team pool. As you manage to get in the way as uh, Reese, you pop one's head right off and it disappears and it, it completely catches you off guard because before <laughs> you were like 10 feet off the ground and now you're on the ground and one of them's about to charge you. But all of a sudden like this bright, brilliant glowing fist above you punches right by the mandible and it shatters and as that um all of them shatter I want to say that as it's happening i turn towards reese and say come on you can do better than that can at least capture <laughs> one I with my the crumbled concrete off my back and what unfortunately you cannot capture it as you um as you punch through them all of them seem to wither and into dust and float away as with the final blow causing like three of them in a singular line, one punch style is like down all the way and just like they all disappear just in time for Reese to like, you know, deal with the remainder ones. And uh, Seros, because of your, you know, mind energy right now, keeping the whole building afloat, everyone manages to get out, but the building is still going to crumble. What do you guys do? Can I still throw a the adhesive to just buy everyone some time? Yeah, you can totally do that. You can buy everyone some time. That would be freak or... That would be... Hold on. It's not really, gadgets. That's <laughs> kind of gadgets. That one's a little bit more nuanced, so hold on. No, it's unleash your powers to overcome an obstacle and reshape your environment, so this is definitely freak. Okay. Yeah. I'm gonna I'm just gonna grab Saris and we're gonna jump out of here. Oh, right. okay. Well Oh no. We still got two team uh that would only get it to six, never mind. That would only get it to six, unfortunately. Yeah. Do I need to so roll? Can, like... I, can I hold this until everyone is out, or no? You could. Uh, you could totally try to do that. That's definitely freak as well, but Volt, um, you try to uh, uh, throw adhesive to the buildings, but you throw, accidentally throw the wrong ones, and those are corrosive, not adhesive. I should probably label these. Uh, yeah, you should probably label those, and it only makes the situation worse, number one. And number two volts, let's see here. Uh, on the mm, you know, on the miss, I get to mark a condition for you. Right. You, are, you are feeling insecure. That was pretty embarrassing. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. Accurate. There, there, Volt. It happens to the best of us. <laughs> Doesn't help that I'm recording this. Yeah, it does. It doesn't help because you know you're gonna you're gonna have to show this to Flaming something later. So you're really insecure right now. Oh boy. And uh, and uh, Sarah, you can totally um, you can totally completely keep it up. But I think Reese doesn't care about that. Wants to take you out, get you out right now. Uh, nope. I mean, <laughs> let uh, me see if I can hold it. Uh, what I want to do is uh. Yeah. What do you want to do? Basically, just get her out of there while, so that she can just be out of there while she she still maintains it. Carry your right. princess I don't style. Want to interrupt it. Yeah, that's exactly my plan. Oh, okay, carry Actually, totally how, carry how tall are you? How tall are you, uh, Sarah? Oh, Jesus, that's something I didn't fucking decide. Are you like super uh, tall? No. Short. You're short. Yes. About. I think I was thinking about five two in my head. Okay, so you're actually shorter than me. That's messed up. Because hey, I thought I was pretty short. Her people short. are fucking short, okay? <laughs> and you grab her and you run out. Um but you're just about to to, to grab her, but then all of a sudden, never fear! God might is here. As suddenly 
this being of pure construct and energy crashes down to the road next to you, followed by this glittering sort of majestic power of holy light as uh, as he comes and his magical, like, all of a sudden, he snaps his fingers as these constructs of divine energy recreate the pillars as if coming, crawling back in time as the dust in all the stone settles and makes it so that the par- parking lot is even more perfect, except for a singular grin and a thumbs up of God Might's face plastered somewhere on the building. Uh, Chameleon drops the, the shield barrier and kind of like slumps a bit from the effort of it. It's kind of catch, they're kind of catching their breath. And as God Might lands, a whole retinue of reporters come crashing down. God Might! God Might! You saved everyone! You saved everyone! They're all call- and congratulating and all you hear is God Might saying, Ha ha ha! Never fear! For I am God Might and I'm here. And it's this perfect grin. Uh, just plaster on his face as he's flexing all of his muscles. As uh, next to next to God Might is Steel Hawk, who currently ha- is carrying down a cage made of like this purple energy of Mantis right now, um, kind of like defeated and, and wrapped up. You notice his wings have been ripped off, and you hear back there, "It's like what happened to his wings? Did you rip him off?" And God Might says, "I have my ways." As uh, every every single one of them are just crowded around God Might right now, and they are interviewing him. But as the five of you kind of stand there and you watch, pretty much your your, your show being taken right now. Well, like uh, I stopped, um, oh. like you know, I was grabbing Saris and running out uh, while this was happening. Yep, yep, and yep. I just yep. stop at the edge of like the the parking garage. I don't put Saris down, but like I'm just yeah. watching, like looking down, <laughs> watching this. Uh, Sarah finally realizes that, uh, Reese is carrying her and kind of looks up at them and just blinks. <laughs> I'm, I so, don't even uh, notice. I'm, I'm looking down and watching this asshole down here. Uh, I'm, do I see I'm this? Can I take a picture? No, you display. are totally there and all your phone is lighting up with your mother. Samantha! Samantha! Take a photo! Take a selfie! Take a selfie! Take a selfie! <laughs> just like uh, 15 messages going through your phone right now. So, uh, uh milkshakes and burgers? Y- yeah. Oh no, your parents you are see, millennials, uh, they're socially, social media aware. Oh no. Um, uh, uh, Chameleon is kind of like slinking away from God Mind as if like being near him is making it, them uncomfortable. And, um, you notice, uh, one of the families who you have influence over right now, specifically, who was it that had influence? It was, um, it was, uh, not Bright Star. It oh, was, Sarah's it was wasn't me. It, yeah. No, it was, um, sorry, I gotta get, remember your character names and your names. I, I keep trying to say your name. I'm sorry. Uh, Chameleon, thank you. Chameleon, yeah. It was Chameleon. Um, the family is just there. They're, they're so thankful that they have been pl- plucked out of the way from these rampaging locusts. They're just looking at you right now. And then they, they look over to Godmind, then they look back at you. Kind of half expecting you to say something and do something. I, I'm just, like, kind of, like, looking back at them and, like, Give them a little wave. Like, I don't know how to deal with this. <laughs> the last time a family looked at me like this, I was trying to kill them. Oh, God. And, uh... I would put a hand over Chameleon. Look, we're heroes. We're not here for recognition. And you take a picture. I'm Reese holding... Oh. <laughs> and and, uh, and as you're trying to, as you're trying to, like, take a picture of that, you know, like, at the top of your phone, you, you have, like, those recent messages? Yes. You just see, take a picture with the godly, take a picture with the like again and again and again, like in progressively larger and more bolder caps. I take a picture, I take a selfie of myself, and there's God Mike behind me, and I post it. It's, it's kind of hard right now Mike because Graham. it's like like 50 people surrounding God Might as they're all complimenting him on his like chiseled body and his godlike appearance. Like Okay, well here's what I do. I, I, I jump up into the air and do it. That's it. I have two questions. What's your facial expression and what are the tags? And also, <laughs> um, it's very important. This is what he looks like as he's there. Oh, fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> I think I think God might needs to just go away now. Goodbye. And he's there. His hand is on his chest, just looking up and just, ah, oh, it is such a brilliant day today in Halcyon City. I must thank you all for being such wonderful citizens. For I am always so proud to protect. He's just going on and on. Just... I'm gonna like 
kind of nod at Vault and like, let's go get those burgers. You know, I recorded everything. I could show what happened. And as that happens, as all of you are there, you see, once again, Steel Hawk, after dropping the uh, the orbed prison next to Godmite, flying over and landing uh, next to you guys. Um, and he lands. Reese, you can you can put me down now. So he's there, and uh, he approaches uh, the team, and you don't see his expression right now, but he, but he is kind of wounded. He's taken some slashes, uh, but because he the because Mantis didn't have any wings, he definitely had the superiority in that fight. Um, he walks up, and he immediately steps and uh, uh, doesn't push you to the side there. Or actually, no, looks directly at both Brightstar and uh, and Reese. Reese and says, what were the both of you thinking? You had jeopardized everyone in that room. I'm glad that you guys got yelled at. Oh, and when, when Saris asked to be let down, I sort of start and, uh, oh, right, yeah. And uh, sort of like, let you down. Yeah, and uh, he, he he says that to the, all of you, and then he says to everyone else. I think Mantis was jeopardizing a lot of people in that room. And this is, um, I do not take talk back. And he stops and kind of rubs his temples. Everyone back to base, keep your heads down. The professionals are at this, you stay out of this entirely. And he's now he's spending his influence over you guys to make you all more mundane. Do you guys accept that, yes or no? I'll accept mm. it. So if you accept it, once again, you shift down one label and increase uh, mundane up by one. What do you do when you reject something? If you reject something, you can stand up for yourself. And that is uh, that is a mechanic, and let me just try to find that again, is under handouts, underneath conditions and influence. Um, when someone takes influence and... Uh, when you reject someone's influence, roll the dice, and they, it shows you... Um, what, oh, the 10 what plus choose two. Rolling? Uh, let's see flat here. Flat 2d6. Isn't that the flat 2d6? Flat 2d6. It says under the label yeah, section, it's a flat 2D6. third sheet. So we can totally try to resist this right now. Okay, so just roll two d six. I will not be trying to resist. That is a miss. <laughs> Fuck, I have a minus. Do I, do I take potential on this still, or you do take potential on this? Anytime okay. there's a miss, you take potential on this. The words hit you real hard as you kind of look around to the carnage that you created. You feel kind of bad. You you look. You remember the look of horror and and, and fear on the people that you had crashed into the next room. It's you hard. You're not sure how to take it just yet, but like that moment really, really sits heavy with you. And on the miss, their words hit you hard, mark a condition, and the GM will adjust your labels. So you go ahead and you mark a condition of your choice. I'm angry. I'm angry because even though I I really feel like like he's right when he said that, it's also total bullshit because what was he going to do? Just let those guards die? Yeah, no, very, very it's, true. It's bullshit. Um, it's still bullshit. It's also like it, yeah, but it, it's still re- really, everything's really bullshit. Affects, it's it also really bullshit because a lot. Yeah, yeah he's, and he's also bullshit because he wasn't there. He didn't see what happened. Yeah, you know, he wasn't there. So, but like he thought, you know, that, that's the thing. I'm gonna shift down your danger by one and your mundane up by one. So you're you're oh, you, you feel okay. a lot. You want to you're trying to hold yourself back a little bit more, but you're it, it hits you hard. Um, you're still angry though, but uh, you have increased your mundane up to zero. All right, uh, and with that, um, he says, "Go back to base. I'll meet you guys later." And uh, so he has shepherded you guys to go back to base. Um, he and he presses a button, and uh, the teleportal kind of um, shows up as kind of like this uh, circular energy blue construct next to you guys that you guys can go through. And uh, with that, hold on one second. There is a mechanic here that we have to do. Uh, uh, I think I also literally say that out loud to Saros. Okay, here we go. What was he going to do? Just let those fucking guards die? Yep, yep, yep. And team moves. When you... Okay, so we're going to start off with... uh, Because we're at the top here, because the bull. When you share a triumphant celebration with someone, uh, make them your love or your rival and immediately mark potential. If they're already your love or your rival, take influence over them and mark potential. So... So I think, uh, although despite this, everyone kind of feels pretty happy right now that they have, you know, stopped these locusts from terrorizing uh, and uh, 
hurting yeah, more people. I'm like, I'm like indignant about it. 